There are so many incredible things happening in our schools that it would take hours upon hours to really scratch the surface, Ms. Hayes, right? Yes, that is accurate. But today we're at Thompson Intermediate School and Ms. Hayes is just gonna tell us about a few of the incredible things going on with the students here and I am so excited to share it with you. The first thing we wanna talk about is Boosterthon. Now that always comes early in the year and the kids, I mean, they are jacked up about Boosterthon, right? Yes, they were so pumped this year. We had a goal of $25,000 and we reached that goal with the generous donations of all of you all. Um, we actually had some donors all the way from Germany this wow. year. So it was fantastic to be able to see everyone pouring into our project, our fundraising project and be able to allow the kids to see where that money goes as we make improvements on campus. And the kids got a, a fun little surprise at the culmination of Boosterthon, right? That is Treywick had a little situation there. Yeah, Miss Treywick had to kiss a pig. I mean, no, she a did, chicken. Ch a like chicken. catch a chicken? She had to catch the chicken. So yes, that was funny. Yes, she had to catch the chicken. And there is something coming in the spring for them that I'm not going to spoil. But there is another big activity to kind of cap off our Boosterthon fundraiser. Well, we're excited more to come about that i'm sure that was really really fun now something that is is really interesting to me at our high school um the kids will do report card conferences i guess and they'll have mentors from the community come in you guys are doing something like that here tell me a little bit about it we are we have partnered with our peer helpers at ths and they come during report card time so at the end of report cards, they have the opportunity to talk to some of our students who we have in our mentoring program. And they just talk to them about their next steps for report cards. They talk about the good things that make plans for situations in which, you know, they could have maybe done better in something, but it's a great opportunity for our students at THS to mentor with our students here at TIS. And it's a lovely event. So you and I were talking about something else that was really cool that you guys are doing here, and it's called Page Turners. And you're really pulling kids in to learn to love reading, right? Yes. So with our Page Turners Club, um, a couple of adults, one in particular is our library's assistant. She has on Mondays and Wednesdays, she has a girl group. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, she has a boy group. And it is so amazing to see each group participate in it, but it is really refreshing to see the boy group because you don't always see a lot of boys be that interested in reading, but they choose a book together and then they read that book together and it gives them an opportunity to work on their oral reading fluency, which is a big part of, you know, what we're trying to improve upon as a school, but it also gives them an opportunity in a small setting to just really express their love for reading. So we love the page turners group. I think one thing that I love so much about the school, having kids here and seeing just the way that you try to cater to different loves that these students have, whether it's reading or math and in different ways, right? Another really cool thing y'all are doing here is something called Sprout Scouts. And we have seen a garden going up, right? Yes. What is that about? So our Sprout Scouts, it is an extension of our, um, community ed program, but it is sponsored by one of our fifth grade science teachers, Ms. Myers. And so she has about 12 students who have a love for gardening. And so because of that, we've kind of started a garden in our courtyard area, and we have different community partners Lowe's being one of them who contributed bird feeders to the project. And we also have a local Girl Scout group that is going to come and help beautify the area. Nice. So it is amazing to see it just come, just come to life. I, I, I love it, by the way. And I think, I mean, this could really go with them in life, right? It, it really can. It really can. I don't have a green thumb, but Me they either. certainly have a green thumb and it looks beautiful. What would our green thumbs be like today if we had started in the fourth and fifth grade? Never wow. know, we'll never, never know. know, but these kids will, and that is really cool. Uh, final thing I want to talk about, I've seen emails going out about the ESL Parent Academy, and that happens every month. Tell us a little bit about what goes on there. So the ESL Parent Academy is something that the district started a couple of years ago now, 
And what it does is as, you know, as a community for our Hispanic families and for our other ESL um, families, they get together and give information that they may not otherwise fully understand. So whereas we may, as English speaking people, we may be more proficient in power school or just different things pertaining to the school processes. This is an opportunity for families to come and get that additional support that they need. So tonight, actually, there is an academy that will be going on that's gonna highlight opportunities for some of our secondary students in which colleges and universities will come and talk to the families about those processes. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a phenomenal idea. It's a phenomenal way. We host it at TIS every month because this is just a central location. And so the families come to our building and they get a wealth of information. Mm -hmm. And under the direction of Jose Alvarado, who's our community um, parent involvement facilitator, he helps with that along with several other individuals. It's just a great informational time for our parents and our students. Absolutely. So definitely mark your calendars for that every month because, wow, that is a very valuable resource that we have here. Yes. Lots of very valuable resources here at Thompson Intermediate and all of our schools. Like I said, we are just scratching the surface. Ms. Hayes had a list about this long of all the amazing things happening with the students here, the teachers, you guys are killing it. And I just thank you for letting us come and sharing it with the rest of Alabaster. Yes, I would be remiss if I sat here and made it seem as if I did all this by myself, but it is because of my team, my assistant principals, Ms. Trawick and Ms. Carlick, as well as my office staff and all of the phenomenal teachers and staff within this building that we are able to be the school that we are and achieve the things that we achieve. So it's definitely not just me, it's a collective effort. And as I say, we're always better together.